Okay, continuing with the footprint series, here we have part two, absorption. In this video, we'll be going over what absorption is and what to look for, going over the two most common types and use cases around them, and finishing up with some examples. So without further ado, let's get into the definition side of things. What is absorption? So absorption is when large passive orders hold the line, so to speak, and allow aggressive participants to hit into them. Once these aggressive orders are no longer making directional progress, this is absorption. This will all make a lot more sense when you put yourself in the shoes of liquidity providers and understand that they're really only incentivized to step in when you're nearing reversal points or behind existing momentum. So let's quickly look at the footprint setup that I use. I wanted to make a point here that I almost never zoom in and actually read the numbers. The human mind is incredibly gifted when it comes to pattern recognition, and I would implore everybody to go ahead and try to do it that way themselves. You can always just zoom in and read the numbers if you have to after the fact but this will limit the amount of information that you're taking in and should help you. So what are the two most common types of absorption? The first version we should already be roughly familiar with this is the one that everybody talks about already. This is exhaustive absorption that leads to reversion. When passive orders step in front of the aggressive orders absorbing their flows and stopping or slowing the directional price movement, it's important to point out that this has a much higher probability of playing out when we're inside a bracket. Alternatively, we have the passive chase. This is the momentum version of absorption. This is when passive orders are chasing price up or down as it's moving. We can identify this in two ways. The first version I would only recommend if you're a scalper, which is in the order book. So you get into the order book or in the DOM and you watch your asks and bids chase price directionally. Alternatively, we have the much easier version that I would recommend to everybody, which is absorption on the counter trend ticks. So you get into your footprint and you identify a trend. So for example, if price is trending up, every time you see the back ticks that are going down. You want to see heavy, heavy selling come in and very little follow through. And this is going to tell you that the passive bid is moving up and chasing price. So the absorption use cases. Um, first off, we have reversion. So this is the exhaustive absorption that we've already gone over. This is the sign of reversal. So we're trading into an extreme of value or a key contextual level. And this is going to be leading to a momentum loss where we take it back to the mean. Alternatively, we have the momentum version, right? The absorption chase, this is a continuation trade. We're going to be expecting our high delta nodes to serve as resistance when they're counter trend and support when they're going with the trend. So here we have our quick a reversion example. We're in a bracketing environment. We see that we trade down into the lows of the micro range. You see heavy, heavy selling and little follow through. This is what that looks like zoomed in. Now we have our momentum example. We're clearly trending up. We can see heavy selling on the back ticks and very little follow through following it. This is showing you that the passive bid is moving up and chasing and supporting directional price movement. Thanks.